Hello everyone, I am Jihya Chandran. In this episode of Beebles Explained, we are going to see how government blocks or bans an app in their country and we are also going to see some of the problems that arise due to government blocking the app. So let's get started. Okay, the government have banned an app in our country. How do we get to know that? First, we open the app, it will show no network available error or any other errors. And if we try to install the app, it doesn't show up in the search results of the app market. Or some may go even further by searching for the app in their search engine. You will see a link to the official page of the app, but it doesn't show up. But exactly what is happening here? A lot can happen, but in this video, we are going to see the two primary things that the government does. One, controlling the ISP. Two, controlling the app market. First, what is ISP? Internet Service Provider is an organization that offers internet to the public by providing a network and an IP address. These are the two most important things that we need to interact with the internet. The ISPs are specific to a country, thus it provides unique IP addresses to the user of its country and divides them into one unique group on the big internet. So let's take an example to see what's going on here. Imagine you are in an exam hall. You forgot to bring your pen with you, so you have to borrow it from your friend. What will you do? Good ones like me will ask the teacher to get a pen from my friend. The teacher gets a pen from my friend with the register number X and gives it to me with the register number Y. This is exactly what happens with the apps you are using daily. The teacher is the ISP, Y is my IP address, X is the app server IP address and the pen is the data. So what happens here is, whenever you open an app with an internet connection, the app requires data from your IP address to a server IP address passing through the ISP. The ISP goes to the server with its IP address and get the data and sends it back to your IP address. Probably many of you have guessed what the government should do to block the app. If the teacher says no when I request for a pen from my friend, I'm done. Yes, that's what's happening here. The government issues an order to the Department of Telecommunication to block certain IP addresses of the apps from receiving data in the ISP. Thus the app will not get any data from those blocked IP addresses. And if the ISP with my IP address receives any request to the blocked IP address, it will stop connecting to that. So you cannot access any data from that app. This is also why you cannot access the official site of the app. You know that the app is not available in the app market too. That is also because of the government's move. The app market has the entire permissions to control the distribution of any app. So the government issues an order to the app market to stop providing the app in their region. Thus, the app market modifies the distribution of the app to provide availability in their given country. That's why you cannot see the app in the app market search results or showing not availability in your country. Yes, banning an app is happy at one side, but it has some issues too. Let's take an example of a user who is very much addicted to the service of the app. 1. He can get the app using some tricks like VPNs. Because the VPN changes his IP address and it goes to another ISP. And that ISP allows him to use the service and he can happily use the blocked app. But the VPNs are very dangerous and risky to use. It can send logs of our activities that we do on the internet using the VPN. I am not saying about all the VPNs, but some do this. It becomes no point when government does one thing for our security and we are doing something that is more problematic than before. If you want me to dig deep with VPN, just comment below, I will make a video for you. 2. Fake Apps even now, there are lots of fake apps and modified apps available for every popular app. If he accidentally downloads any one of them, it may cause a lot of issues because we don't know who made the app and it's not from a proper source. So there are lots of chances that the app could be a malware program. 3. What if the company disobeys the order? An app is a piece of software that can be easily duplicated. Thus, the developer of the app can create a more similar app like before and release under another name and another target IP address. So, it makes no sense about blocking the app, right? It functions as usual or even more cruel, thus it is also an issue to consider. And last, things are temporary. To remember you all, the IP addresses given to the ISP can be retrieved back by the government. At most times, once after the ban has established, the company will contact the government and ask for inquiries. At that time, the company can give clarifications about the app for why it gets banned or the company can even agree with the terms and conditions that the government gives. If any of this happens, probably at most times, the app will give a comeback. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked and learned something from this. If yes, just let me know it by your likes and comments. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking this video. Bye.